the rust on this truck is uh it's pretty extensive it's this it's right there this headlight area is going to be replaced Of course, the common rust areas on these things. And I got all these patch panels except for the door bottoms. I got cab corners. Places right there is going to have to be replaced. This area right here. And of course, that area right there, the door frame in this area. On the windshield is shot. Entire area right there. And this back of the fender is going to have to be patched up as well. The most extensive rust uh, on this truck is right here by the back window. I don't know how that's going to be fixed, but I guess it will find a way. And of course, this step's not even there. The hinge pockets are shot. That'll have to be replaced as well. But the floor pans are good dash has some rust on it this will have to be fixed and that right there of course but uh it runs and drives it's got a brand new gas tank in it i put a new carburetor on it new fuel lines and stuff it leaks around the pinion seal in the rear end i'm gonna have to get that fixed See if I can open this. This is an original 270 engine, GMC engine. Original radiator. Replaced the latch. That's the Zenith one barrel carburetor. It had a Rochester that my grandfather put on there years ago, but it was leaking, and I'd rather go with the original type carburetor that was on it original generator voltage regulator I replaced that and the vacuum advance down there I tuned it up put a Petronics ignition kit into it it runs and drives pretty well and uh, it's reliable for the most part Yeah, all this this rust right here will have to be repaired. It's just I don't. It's just awful. That right there. That's the bed's not as uh, bad as the cab is, but I got the original tag on there that my grandfather had. I got new tail lights. Stainless steel tailgate chains. The tailgate is being worked on, and so is the other two rims. The frame is in pretty decent condition. It needs to be sandblasted on the bottom. It's the original fender emblem. It's not too bad for a project truck, and especially being one that's been in my family since brand new. Just my grandfather parked it out in the pasture and just left it until it got sent to the car farm junkyard. And it was rescued there, and I ended up with it. And it's original seafoam green. It's a shot. 